and I should be live now, or audible. Oh god, don't stretch that shit. <laughs> Check, close this now. I don't need that. I have my password open in a separate screen. So, this is the last stream of the year. Uh, decided to wait till the final day of the year to do it. Just to be symbolic, and also because I'm lazy as shit. I think I should be good here. Should be close enough to the mic. Again, I use the mic differently when I stream versus when I actually do recordings. I'm usually not as close to it. And I'm also talking a lot more casually. <laughs> so last time we pretty much beat the entire game normally. Except that we didn't do the last level of Panic Puppet. And I think there's one more level after that. Which I need the final Chaos Emerald to do, so... I'm gonna get in that as well. And then after that, I'll probably, um... Just go back and do Time Trial the rest of the stream. Also, I found out how to get the Sonic badges. You have to get all of the, uh extra lives in a single level for it. In fact, maybe I'll warm up with that for a little bit. Play level. Oh, I gotta turn it down a little bit, actually. Very loud. Because I can't hear myself talk, and that's kind of not good when I'm streaming. I'm used to sounds on this thing being way too low with my headphones plugged in. So that's, there's that. Hey, Anox. Welcome to the stream again. I'm just warming up here. I'm, I'm getting the, uh, the Sonic Metal on this level. Which is, it's required for 100%. I am definitely not getting 100% in this stream. Even if I play... Even if I make progress the full three hours, I doubt I'm going to be getting 100%. I'll probably just do it off-stream, because I'm not doing the third part of this. But yeah, I'm going to go back to where I left off uh, in just a few minutes, actually. Do you plan on playing the time trials? Yeah. That's probably going to be most of the stream today. I, I'm, again, I'm not going to probably perfect it, because I, I just don't want to switch to another game today. But, um... I'm going to do my best to get as many time trial medals as I can. And also, I just... If you weren't here a second ago, I just said I found out how to get the, uh, the Sonic medals, too. You have to get all the extra lives in a stage, which is probably what you suggested to me before. I will, I am going to go for 100% of this on my own time, but I'm probably not going to bother, because it's just going to be me redoing a stage, like, over and over again. Time trials don't seem too interesting. It doesn't. But, I mean, I'll get frustrated, at least. The thing is, I don't have anything else planned right now, and I don't want to jump into the next first game of the new year. I want to wait until it's actually 2017 here to do that. And I don't have any more, like, quick games to play in the meantime. Make a quirky one-off stream of just the game for that. Oh, what is it? Tell me. Because uh, if it's interesting enough... I, I might just do it tonight instead and come back to just do this on my own time. Teenage drum set fucking werewolf. That uh doesn't sound safe for stream. A music video you play. Uh, that, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's gonna run. I mean, I've done that in a uh, night in the woods, but those did not run well. How graphically intensive is this? Maybe a one pixel dong, long dong in a scene. Uh, would that be too risky for Twitch? Pixely. <laughs> Whoop. 
Okay, now here's the question. Do I need to get the extra life from the special stage? No, I guess not. Okay, so that's how you get the uh, Sonic Medal. You gotta get all the extra lives per stage. And that does count for the percentage points. I found out, so what counts for percentage is beating each stage, getting all the Chaos Emeralds, getting the ending, beating every time trial stage, getting, uh, getting every Sonic Medal, and then also, I think, getting 5 million points is also how you fill up the percentage counter. And I think John implied that there is a... Excuse me. John implied that there is a thing, a little something that you get for getting 100%. I do not know what it is, though. So, last stream, you remember, on Act 2, I got really frustrated trying to get the Emerald there. It turns out that the way the game was originally set up, there was no Knuckles or Tails in Panic Puppet at all. Super Sonic? Well, no, you get Super Sonic just by getting all the Emeralds, which I will show off after I do that. Because you also need all the Emeralds to activate the uh, last stage. But the way that the game originally worked was that you could just farm... Like, if you could just get the special stages in the earlier stages, you could get all the Chaos Emeralds before even hitting, like, Act, like, the third or fourth zone. In this Director's Cut, you need one from each zone. And originally, Panic Puppet didn't have either. So what he did was he added in a Tails to Act 2, so that you were able to get to the special stage. Unfortunately, I think that's the only special stage in Panic Puppet. So, if I want to beat the game, I actually have to get the Emerald from that really annoying, like, endurance run. But I can beat Act 3 of this first, if I want to instead. There's the link just in case. Let me, let me take a look. Keyboard drum set fucking werewolf. Whoa, that looks weird. Got it. Select for Adobe Flash. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I will, uh, download it. Yeah, it's giving me, like, errors and shit. Folder. All right, yeah, I'll worry about that when I when I get to it. No, uh, uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge was kind of giving me an error there. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's finish this first though. So I died pretty heartily last time to this, or pretty handily. He defeated me pretty handily last time. I don't know words. Uh, Alright, so that's not what you do. Uh-huh. Oh, I see, there's like a, a... Okay, never mind, that did nothing. Oh, there we go, okay. I guess that's that one down. Why didn't that hit? Am I hitting at the wrong angle? Yeah, it looks like it. At 
I just hit a very precise spot. And I died. Alright, this isn't too bad. Aside from the very precise hitbox. How much are you into the Mario Party series? Uh, I've never played anything past like 1 or 2 on the N64. Okay. Uh, there's more. I see. It's whenever the whenever the one fires, the uh, it's it's light will go on. Oh my god! How long does this thing chase you though? Oh, there's another door too. All went downhill. It all went downhill after three, anyway. So you know, like most good entries, yeah. Well, I saw, like, the GameCube ones didn't seem too bad, but, like, once they started getting to the... Well, no, even the Wii one was alright. It's like, once they started getting to, like, the weird, like, Wii U 3DS era ones, they started, like, stop being regular Mario Party, and I don't get why. Oh my god, this is a pain. Hitting is so imprecise, too. Like, look at that. I rammed right into that, and that didn't work. Four would randomly delete your story. That sucks. Or would delete your progress. Like Battle Network 4. This is the thing, I've never run into that problem with Battle Network 4, where I've lost the save data. I think that might have just been exclusive to Blue Moon. Oh, you know what? I have to hit the circle. I don't have to hit the blue dot. I have to hit this like the circular part in the back of the arm. Which I still can't hit. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Is there another phase to this too? Th oh, that's cool. Thanks. Oh, that's cool. And just think I still have to go back to Act 2 afterwards. And fucking garbage, alright, and have to get the Chaos Emerald, so this might take longer than I think. To be fair, I did a lot of soft resets when Navi farming, so it might be related to that. I found that soft resetting doesn't pose... The only way, the only way it should pose any danger to your save data is if you're soft resetting while the game is saving. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? This is really bad. Look at that! What was that? And I didn't grab a ring? Okay. Wow, this game got really bad in the last <laughs> zone. I... I don't know what to do. It's like, there's like a phantom area between the balls on the back and the blue-red... Or the blue dot, or whatever. Like, see, you have to hit, like, a, a very weird spot.
this yeah, this game is like this year, promising but ultimately a huge letdown. I can't claim this year was bad for me though. This year was definitely better than the last like three years of my life, that's for sure. Really wish Sonic would have shot, stopped a little shorter there, so I didn't grab all three of those. Was not fast enough. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, cool! Alright. I wish I didn't grab those. I also wish that this game was a little bit less shitty. And down to the single ring. Alright, that's fine. We don't need rings. Oh no, cool, no rings. That's cool. We don't need rings. That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I'm glad this is what we're starting with tonight because uh, I fucking this is this is a good indicator of how this is gonna go. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even. All right, you not just let's let's do over. I swear a lot. I try not to swear too much. I already swear enough as it is. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Whatever, I don't fucking care. Alright, I see. I gotta, like, jump between, like, the, like, the joint. Yeah, that's cool. After some unfortunate incidents, I tried working on that same problem, too. Oh, swearing? I don't have problems with swearing. I have problems with... Wait, what? Uh, oh, God, why are you doing that? Stop! Is your AI broken or something? Okay. I don't know what just happened, but it did. Alright. I mean, that's... Well, no, that's just how English works. You swear a lot in between words to, to, to fill space. Trust me, I do that all the time. It's, it's actually pretty hard to not do it. Okay, I don't know why that one didn't work right there. I mean, I was right in the joint. So I don't have to jump towards it, I could just, like, wedge myself in there and jump. Right, this isn't so bad now. But I can't manipulate which one's firing, so I have to alternate. Alright, cool. Uh, give me a sec here. We just, uh... Put myself in there and jump. Is that how sex works? Yes, it is. Yes. Very much yes. Oh, God. So there is more. What is this? Sound wave shit? Oh, oh, and they bounce. Neat. Oh, God. They... Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. All 
Alright, I think I can manage this. Or not, I could just miss completely. What what hit me? What just hit me? Oh, why did I get two rings? Alright, I gotta just wait over here until it's time to hit this one again. I think I gotta take this one at a time. Okay, did I hit it there? Didn't look like I did, even though I was clearly wedged. Oh, come on! Oh, and I didn't even grab the- I didn't even get the- Oh, man. Oh my god, really? What, what the shit? Alright. Did you not see me stand right in there and jump? What the hell? Oh my god, please stop. There we go. Must not have been too, uh, too far to the left. Or, I must have been too high up. Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. Let me just grab that last string! No, no, no! Alright, 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 good, 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 good. Okay, we're almost there. Please tell me that's the end. That's it, right? Yes, thank god. Mean Bean Machine 2.0. Power, 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 power. God, look at that round faced Sonic. It's like a doll. As long as I have this final weapon, I can conquer the world anytime! See you again, Sonic! And that's the end of the game, except not really. But I think the way the level select is set up is that I could still go to the final act, I just need the uh, final emerald to do it. So why not use the final weapon instead of dicking around with Sonic? You know, it's just... It's, uh, don't ask questions. Why didn't Robotnik just make a room full of spikes? Also, I just realized my nose is bleeding. <laughs> this cold weather is like killing my nose. Try again. Look how talented Robotnik is. He could juggle without even moving his arms. Final fight, Act X. So I just, I can't go to it. Yeah. Now imagine playing this as a kid without a stage select and just hitting the end and then not being able to finish it. But again, also it's easier to get the Chaos Emeralds in the, in the normal version. John actually made it harder to get them in this just because... Because of this, because of Act 2, which, oh boy, I'm ready, I'm ready to hate myself again. He uses telekinetic abilities. Really, dick? And I, like, understand what he did. He put tails, like, right after you get about 50 rings, so that you can, uh, get to the special stage immediately. Because this is, this is a one-way path. 
the problem is, is that it's just like... It's so hard to get all the rings and not die and not get hit at all on the way there. My shield. It's weird, like my shield like just disappears randomly. You didn't use a spin dish that much last time. Yeah, I didn't. Alright, we made it. See, I'm wondering, was this platform even here in the original version? Or was it just this version? No. Oh, come on. You're joking, right? You motherfucker. All right. It's it's just impossible. That's not fair. That's like not even remotely fair. And then you got to go through all that again just to get back to the stage. Like, I feel like he could have easily had put in Tails or Knuckles in Stage 1 and not make me go through this torture like 8,000 times in a row. Because that's what's happening here. And then the special stage itself is hard as shit, too. I've never fought base uh, double X in Battle Network before. If everything else fails, you could use save states. That's what I'm tempted to do, since just because I've gone to the stage so many times. And I mean, the official Sega emulator would allow you to make a save state as well. So it's also like, ah, uh, maybe I should just do it. Uh, I'll make a save state after this attempt, and if I don't get it after this attempt, I'll just reload. save f5 state zero saved and quick load okay so we do have a quick load function all right second part Ooh, ooh. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that to me. Final. And I got it. Nice. And I didn't even have to cheat. Sonic got all the Chaos Emeralds. Neat. Congratulations, you've unlocked Supersonic. Collect 50 rings and then jump and press Spin Dash to toggle Supersonic. 
Safe state was for nothing after all. Not necessarily true. I still have to beat the stage, I think. In fact, I am going to make another quick save right there. And I don't get to use Supersonic in the stage now. I don't think there's enough rings. Slide back down. It's an interesting game, to say the least, but definitely could use a lot more polish. Get some concept art or something for 100%. It'd be pretty neat. Alright, cool. Finally. Uh, so now I can do the final fight. Cool. And have almost exactly 50% of the game done. <laughs> Act X, the final fight. You always thought concept art unlocks were super boring. Wait, what the hell? Why couldn't I move? That was weird. Oh god damn it, the fucking controllers desynced. How the, why the hell does that keep happening now? That is very annoying. I was like, why why am I not moving? And I look down the light on my controllers off. I'm like, oh. Ooh, 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 look at these lights. Alright, so that does nothing. I guess he's gonna crash down. Nope. Oh, there's no rings here. does nothing. Okay. Oh, you just gotta wait it out. Alright. So it's just his head that's vulnerable. pretty neat. Definitely rough. Especially since you don't get to carry any rings with you. I'm sure that in two more attempts I'll hate this. At least now I know how this battle works. I have to wait for him to be in hitting range. God, the flames in this game are the worst.
Whoop. Now it comes down and comes in a bit, and bam. Not bad. Oh, that you don't have a high window of attack on that one. You get like seconds for that one. This uh, feels kind of impossible. And back to the beginning. Oh, I see. So after one loop around, you're back here again. And it's five... Oh, so I see. Because it's ten hits. So you do two loops. Alright, so I know to leave three rings behind the first time. And it looks like these patterns are a little rougher. This fight's not so bad once you get used to it. It's definitely way easier than the last one. Hands in the back black background remind me of that Kirby Superstar boss. You mean Wham Bam Rock? Yeah, it does, it does kind of feel reminiscent of that. The music's very chill, though, for a final boss. I'll say that. And dead. Unless there's something hidden here. Sonic got through the final fight. Hey, not bad. I did it! I beat the game! Thank you, Sonic. You saved us from Robotnik. We are grateful for your efforts. <laughs> I just did what I wanted to do. Nobody messes with my friends. See ya. Bleh. The Flickies have been freed. Peace and freedom came back to Flicky Island again. Congratulations, you've unlocked the secret level select option. I mean, I could already select what I wanted, so... And we got this again. Can I skip this? Yep, looks like I can. Secret level select option. I don't see anything secret. Also, that counted for 10% completion. So I got a 58% now. That's almost a passing grade. Let's see. Was there a... Let's see. Quit game. Actually, wait. Well, before I quit, let me... Because I don't have my password here. So I'll quick save it. Secret level. Oh, this is just the, um... This is the level select that you can access normally in the game. Like, in the original version, you were able to access this and go anywhere you wanted. And you could also do each of Tails and Knuckles special stages. Which is interesting, because in the director's cut, you can't do Knuckles 7, since there's no Knuckles in, uh, Panic Puppet. Or, yeah, Panic Puppet. 
That's kind of interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, interesting thing about that level select, actually. Uh, they designed it so that if the game were ever to run into an error, like the original game, such as like by the cartridge getting tilted, instead of crashing and delivering an error message, which Sega would not allow, if the game did that, they would be like, you have to program that out. Uh, instead, it would just default to the stage select. So it actually started a rumor that punching the cartridge would bring you to the stage select screen. And it wasn't until uh, John made a video about that a few weeks ago, well, a few months ago now, that uh, people didn't know that it's actually just kind of an error handling, like, loophole to get the game to let you play, uh, to, le to, let the to get the game shipped out without having to do extensive bug testing on it. It's pretty cool. So, uh, I'll play this for a few more minutes. I'll make like an, I'll round it out on an even hour of this because it's only been 42 minutes. Doop. Doop. Yep. Yeah. So I'll do time challenge. I'll see. If, I, I want to see if the bosses get a time challenge because that'd be sucky if they did. Show us Booper Bonic. All oh, right, I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Wrong way. Oh my god, where is the exit? Is it over here? There it is. I don't know where it is. Time over. See, I could have swore that in the original trailer they said that uh, if you got a time over, it would just dump you out where you, uh... It would dump you at the last save point, or the last checkpoint. But I guess not. Bridge down here, shit. Oh my god, it, it's really hard to remember where everything is. I kind of wish they had kept it with the. I think the original implication was that you were going to lose a life and just return to the last checkpoint, but it seems that they've just made it like unlimited lives, but you have to start the whole level over, which is pretty frustrating. But also understandable. Oh shit, why? Why do I keep forgetting which way to go? Why do I keep making mistakes? And again, I just run the completely wrong direction. Yeah, going for 100% on this is going to be rough. Down. There we go. Shit, no, I ran the wrong way. It's this way. There it is. 
I did it. I did it. And, oh, there fucking is a time trial for the boss. That's gonna be rough. Let me see how bad this is gonna be. 40 seconds. I really don't want to play the boss stages over again. Yeah, this, this is not happening. Oh, that's a shame, too. I was looking forward to, like, trying to get 100% on this game. Yeah, no, the Panic Puppet time trial is going to be ridiculously hard. Yeah, I have no clue how you're supposed to do that. That's rough. All right, let's try. Let's let's show off Supersonic. I'll try to get the Sonic Medal in here too. At least end with like a sixty percent. Okay, springs right there. Get on it. There we go. Weird, like hitting the enemies is very lenient, but then trying to get the item boxes kind of fucks you up. So I know you get all the medals when you hear the uh, the emerald sound effect instead of a extra life. All right, here we go. Wait, I got 50. So I think what I do is I jump and then I hit the spin dash button, or not? It was just jump twice. Uh, maybe I can't have a shield when I do it? Yep, there we go. Nope, I shut it off. So the way Super Sonic works here is, I think you just, like, yeah, you don't take damage from anything. You lose a ring per second. You can do the, uh, the downward drop. And you get, like, a super spin dash, which I guess isn't too much different from a regular spin dash. But yeah, even the flickies change color, which is cool. Yeah, and you could disable it at will by, uh, essentially activating it again. However, whatever your ring count is, whatever your ring count is. Meaning that now that I'm back down below 50, I can't reactivate it. So if I still had 50, I'd be able to, uh, turn it back on. Like this. There we go. And I fucked up. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's neat that they added it into the game. It's just frustrating that because they ch because John changed how you get the emeralds, it's also kind of useless because it only comes into play at the very end. So it really only helps you when you're going back to get the medals, I guess. He's very gold in this game, yeah. I I, I get what you mean, because he, he does look that very particular shade of yellow when he does that. Get the... Box, Sonic, there you go. Oh, god damn it, my controller! Why? Why do you keep doing this? What have I done to deserve that kind of treatment? I don't know why my controller keeps doing that. I 
have to resync it now because it like actually like broke. I hate that this controller is going already. Like this controller, I just got a, when I started streaming in September of '06. So it hasn't even been a year and a half, and it's already starting to break on me, which is really frustrating. I don't know why all my controllers have to break. That's why I'm highly considering if I get another controller, just saving up and getting uh, the Switch Pro controller. Because I think it can natively work on PC with Bluetooth. No, don't give me my rings. You treat your controllers like garbage and they never break. That's the thing, I don't treat my controllers badly. I keep up the cords nice and, like... Like, not bent, but, like, circled up, coiled up nicely. I don't let too much dust get in them. This happened during Seiken Densetsu 3 back in September as well. Maybe your controls want to be treated dirty. <laughs> Always a possibility. Oh yeah, also the Sonic symbols are uh, gold too. I don't even need the spin dash, I can just walk into them to break them now. Basically, you just change the color palette in middle a bit around and put some sparkles on Sonic. Pretty much, but it also does make him invincible. It pretty much gives him permanent speed shoe effect. to run out. Nope, never mind. But it's neat, because originally I think Super Sonic was supposed to be in this game, and they cut it out. And then he, he went through the trouble of, like, re-adding it in. Alright, my superpower's gone. Again, I do wish he had kind of left the old Emerald system in so it was less frustrating. I got all nice... And also, so that you would be able to use Supersonic a lot more, but, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's clear that the game still has flaws, but it's like, you know, it's, it's nice that the creator went back to it. Sixty percent, and I almost have a million points. I think you need. They said it. He said it stops counting at five million, and that's when you get all the percentage for it. So I mean, I still would have to play this game a whole lot to get a hundred percent. 
And yeah, I mean, I'd have to get the medals in all these stages. I have to beat time attack on all stages. And I'm sure there's a time attack for final fight as well. But yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that. So I am going to call it here for Sonic 3D Blast. Which is fine. It was fun. Uh, I definitely don't see myself revisiting it anytime soon, though. So, let's close that out and figure out what we're going to do from here. Worst time attack has to be Panic Puppet Zones. Well, here's the thing about the Panic Puppet Zone. Act 2 is a straightforward shot, so it's just a matter of getting to the end in time. Act 1 is probably not as good. But I also think Act 1 only has one section. So I don't know. They made the times really tight. Like, you do not have a lot of wiggle room in beating them. You have to go, like, straight for the goal. So you have to know the layout of each stage. Oh, well, Act 3. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, I don't know how to do the bosses, because I didn't see any way to finish that first boss in less than 40 seconds. Like, you have to exploit shit for that to happen. Also, I'm kind of annoyed that he... Oops. I'm kind of annoyed that he made it so that you have to unlock them in order. I feel that just beating the stage should unlock it, because then, like, you know, you're going to get stuck on one stage, and it's like, I could be doing another stage to unwind. And, you know, you're, you're stuck working on the same stage constantly. But whatever. I mean, he could always change it. He, I think he said he was open to more altering of the release and stuff. But yeah, that'll be a, that'll be your Sonic for the year. <laughs> for the next day. There's going to be more Sonic next month. Sonic CD in particular. But that'll be after Metal Gear Solid, which I'm not going to start now. Uh, so, it's only been an hour, and I need to fill another two hours. So, why don't I quit out, we'll stop the recording, start it up, and see what else we can play.